Hi, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Today I want to talk about how you need to get everything in writing. But first, if you need any business litigation help, you want to talk about a potential case, just want to chat about business litigation in general, please feel free to contact me uh, to schedule either an in-person consultation or over the phone. And you can do that at jdelaw.nyc slash consult. Again, that's jdelaw.nyc slash consult. Now, I have one thing I want to say to every potential client out there, and that is get it in writing. Get it in writing. Okay. A lot of potential clients come in my door because they agreed to do something for a friend, a boyfriend, a husband, a, a co-worker, someone, and they always thought they could trust that person. They said, nah, we don't need to get in writing. Why would I do that? All right? For example, a person comes to me and they helped their boyfriend get a car loan. And their boyfriend swore up and down, I promise I'll make all the payments, you don't have to worry about a thing, I'll pay you back for anything that you have to put out. You know, swore up and down, and she wanted to be a good girlfriend, so she, you know, she got the car loan in her name. Fast forward two months, he broke up with her, and he's no longer making any payments, but he's driving around the car. So she's stuck with the bill, she doesn't have the car, and she's got nothing in writing, right? So what is he going to say, you know, if we sued him? Oh, it was a gift. She gave me a gift. Very generous. <laughs> and now it's a he said, she said, literally, you know, and your case gets that much harder to prove. Okay, so, you know, I don't care if it's your best friend, your spouse, someone you've known for 50 years, you know, your mother. If you're doing something where they're promising to pay you back or they just are promising something that has to do with money, just get it in writing. Make your life easy. Hopefully you never have to use it. Hopefully, you know, they do everything they're supposed to do. But get it in writing, okay? makes my job a lot easier if something does happen, right? I want you to always have a contract. A contract that says the who, what, when, where, and how. And I'm just, I think I probably missed one in there. Uh, but basically, you know, if you're loaning someone money, have a contract that says, I'm loaning John Doe 100000 He's going to pay me 15000 every month, you know, and if he doesn't pay me, he promises to pay for my attorney fees and pay me this amount of interest and you know just have all the dates including when the payments have to be done by right so then i could just go to court say this is what the contract says you know he didn't make payments starting on this date so he's owed this amount of money all of it's right there on paper basically right so they can't say it was a gift they can't say that it was an interest-free loan they can't say that you know they promised they'd pay it back in 20 years Whatever it is, you know, because otherwise, what do I have to do? I have to prove that it was a loan. I have to prove what the terms were. I have to prove when the payments should have been made. I have to prove that they weren't made. Which brings me to another thing, too. Get a receipt of everything. Get it in writing, okay? Because if you're on the flip side and you, you're paying back on a loan, and you're paying them, let's just say you're paying them cash, okay? New York City happens way more than it should. You're paying them cash. And they go, oh, you never made a payment for the last three months, even though you handed them cash. Well, how do you prove you paid them then? Get a receipt, always. Let's go back to the other thing though. You know, if you don't have a contract then, I have to prove how much is owed, why it's owed, when it was owed, what the interest rate should be, you know, that there was an agreement at all, right? You have to prove every element you know, to say there was an oral contract. And if you back it up even further, an oral contract, you can only go after money for three years. Then you lose your chance. A written contract, you get six years, okay? So if something happens, you know, somebody gets sick, something along those lines, and you don't get around to it for a few years, for whatever reason. And it happens a lot. 
you're able to, you know, you have that extra time built in with the breach of contract. It's the longest statute of limitations in New York, okay? Six years. So I can't say it enough. It's my number one thing I would tell every business owner. Please make sure you get it in writing, okay? Now again, if you have any questions, concerns, anything to do with business skit litigation, and you wanna speak with me about it, please go to my website, jdelaw.nyc slash consult. That's jdelaw.nyc slash consult. And you can schedule a 10 minute phone conversation or a 30 minute in-person consultation. Okay, all you gotta do is go to my website. Now once again, I am Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Thanks for watching and listening.